Daniel, the jerk. This is from Eva. Hashtag Hi Marie. I was excited when I got a new job in another city, but even more excited when my boyfriend encouraged me and said he'd follow me. He helped me find a new apartment, move my stuff out of his, and get settled. After about a week in the new city without him, I began to worry, so I Skyped him. Yeah, he said. I actually wanted to break up, but I needed all your stuff out of my apartment before I said anything. <sighs> Harsh. Can I just keep on reading this? <laughs> Christopher, the bucket face. This is from Ariana. Hashtag, hi Marie. During a painfully boring date, I excused myself to the bathroom. The interior was fancy, like the rest of the establishment. Locking myself into a stall, I texted my best friend. It's so terrible, I whined. He has a face like a bucket of sand, and he is so boring. He spent 10 minutes talking about how he doesn't like tall trees. I heard a ping and looked at my phone, ready to be amused by her quips. Instead I read, I see. Appetizers are here, by the way. I'd accidentally texted my date instead of my friend. I was mortified and didn't know what to do. When I returned to my seat, he was already gone. I've never seen him again after that. And another one. Love is blind. This is from Andrea. Hashtag, hi Marie. I knew it wasn't my day when my boyfriend of three years broke up with me. I went to my parents' place and before I could say anything, my father said we needed to talk. He was leaving my mother. When I got back to my place, I couldn't find Charlie, my dog. He ran away. Maybe this is what they mean when they say love is blind, because it sure does have a hard time fighting me. <laughs> oh man. Tragic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so much acting! <laughs> You're just standing. <laughs> You say though, it's kind of like, how does your tongue feel in your mouth? Or how do you blink? <laughs> it's like, you know, these sort of important questions that one has to ponder.